Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 44 reaction. Um, and I am again, like, you know, delayed by one week because uh, previous week the subtitles was a little bit late again to come out. So what I planned before, I'm going to do that. That is, I'm going to react to uh, episode 44 today. So it'll be one week, you know, uh, behind every week like next week i'm going to react to episode 45 and the final day when the final episode that is episode 52 will be out i'll be reacting to episode 51 and 52 it'll be a two episode reaction so that's how i'm going to do this um so yeah okay uh previous episode which was episode number 43 uh again a lot of things happened um <laughs> as the rushing stuff uh first of all the whole thing with uh, oh anna comes in anna uh, stops like you know not stops but kind of hinders how so that he cannot like you know mess with marco and all of them and so that marco and uh you know they can get away using uh the like you know marco's uh spirit uh, like you know the, the spirit and anna is there anna like you know gains some time he and uh how you know gets into a fight and uh while this is happening a few other stuff also happens uh yo defeats the, de the demons those you know like those upper demons i think that's what they call them and he i'm guessing he probably fought their boss or something like they, I, I guess they kind of skipped that part and he's out He's out. He tells um, what's his name? Uh, Faust. Faust. Faust to um, help Sati out, you know, and uh, so that you know Sati can come back, and like you know, like Jan can also come back when Jan will come, you know, and then they can go and help out all the others. Like this, that's what's going to happen, and which I which I kind of predicted. I knew like if Faust, uh, Faust is alive, you know, uh, Sati can come back. And if Sati comes back, then I guess everything is going to be fine. She can bring back more people. So, yeah, now, um, and we can see, you know, like, uh, uh, Yo's power has gotten tremendously strong. And, uh, you know, like, Yo here proclaims that I'm going to win. You know, like, there's that, the other patch efficient who comes in. And, but Yo says, like, nah, I'm going to win, you know. And um, then there was the whole thing with Lyserk, where he is kind of troubled. But uh, our son comes and he helps out um, Lyserk to like you know fight the demons and he tells him like oh these are like your inner demons you need to fight them and that's what happens he ends up fighting them and uh, yeah and while on the other part like Ren's team they're also back and like they can get into a fight with um, the Hanagumi while like you know like they see like yeah they, they're too strong they, you know they cannot be killed off so hanagumi retreats and a shocking thing happens here later on where like what was that um what was his name peot yeah peot was told by manta's father their corporation like they get to know they got to know that yeah this whole thing is happening that's why they're also coming here to get their hands on the power so manta's dad told one of their bodyguards i'm guessing uh, about like you know the whole thing with how his secret because Manta told his dad and he told that to Peot why which Peot felt betrayed after knowing because how knows about the you know like all the people's inner uh, feelings so he felt betrayed and he felt betrayed that he has actually led them to die and that's why he in the end he actually kills himself and the Hanagumi at the same time, takes all of them together and all of them die. Then we see Hanagumi actually running away. It's they were in spirit form, I'm guessing. They're running away from the forest and they come across Hao where Hao is bruised and injured. And he says like, oh, give your souls to me. I need some, like, you know, like extra power. And Anna just kicks him. <laughs> so let's see what happens after that. So yeah let's get started this is episode number 44 of the shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here bring it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go here we go 
and bam. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can Anna make a contract with them? Like she, he can, she can use spirits or. Okay. Like I feel like Anna can help them because she knows a lot about spirits and everything and. Uh, okay, mm. Um, wait, so, oh yeah, uh, Yo is on his way, I remember, okay. Yeah, he's on his way f towards Anna, so. All right, let's see. Curse reversal. Oh no. Oh my god. He got the Okay. What the hell is this form? My God. Armored Oversoul, Spirit of Fire. Kurovina. Okay. Fence and Defense. Armored Oversoul. Oh, so yeah, my God, the shock, you know, like they thought that how is the only one who understood them and helped them, so who you really are. There he is. Oh my god, when did he even come here? <laughs> what the? Oh, what? Wait, what? Um... Yeah. What? What is that? Okay, John is back. There you go. Sati brought her back, I think. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, that's because he she didn't want after. Uh. Yeah. Mm, there you go.
<laughs> um, hello, this is someone. Oh, okay. What? What is happening? What? <laughs> Yo. Um. All right, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, oh, with the broad <laughs> with her. I don't think it's enough to no, obviously not. It's not enough to beat them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so That's cafe. I feel like this is the first time I've seen him wearing a shirt. <laughs> hmm. True. Hmm. True. Exactly. Translations are a bit kind of Yeah, he can he can feel what he's feeling. <laughs> well Anna, yeah. <laughs> But the reverse is also true, you know, Piotr was hurt. Like... Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. Wait, who is that? Well, does he have money? Um, does he have money? Dalim. Are you lying? Are you lying? <laughs> oh my god, yo! Great. Oh, wow. I doubt he had any money with him. Hmm. 
Wait. Wait, who? Is that? How? What is he doing here? This Jokin, isn't it? What? Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Alright. This is a serious moment. Alright, here we go. One of them. Oh, um, yeah. Um, Lysark. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he'll be back. Prior of Souls. I feel like this episode is a lot um, nicely paced. Mohammed Tawas. I think this is the first time we, or maybe they actually said the, his name before, but I didn't just catch it. Hmm, oh, Ren is here. <laughs> um. I <laughs> Ah. Well, you couldn't beat him, you know. Oh, that's what he's saying. Interesting. Okay, I was not. Hmm. Translations are a little bit wrong. Okay, no, never mind. Yeah. Hmm, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> well, this is brother, you know. Um, okay. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they have to they have to fight. I forgot about that completely with the whole how thing. Ooh. Oh yeah, these guys think that how will win, so they're like, yeah, like Um Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but oh, okay, that. Oh boy, yeah, he has a very ah. Uh, that's true. He doesn't like how at all. I forgot about that. None of them lay here. Hmm. 
no hard feelings. Okay. Yo, oh my god, embarrassment, how? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh lord, but he made it public, you know, that's kind of... You know, embarrassing. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Okay. Ah, oh, he wants to help him. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god! Wait, he didn't even... Okay. Well, that was kind of... Yeah... Breaking the rules? Whoa! Oh no! Come on, quick, yeah! There you go. They have forced with him. Uh, he's like, yeah, you have infinite revival. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, come on, yo. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Hmm. Oh yeah. So that's why. <coughs> All right. Here we go. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Wait, okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That the, the one that Gandhara used. Is it the same one? A spiritual power. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are loopholes. Wishing you, Chief. Oh, it works against Furioko and goes true. Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay. It's over. Oh, I guess the tournament is here. Yeah. Right, everyone's here. <coughs> Someone who can help. Oh, what's the name? Broken, I think. How we found him as a baby system? Okay, but um, well, one thing I can like you know see like Horohoro's change, you know, like as they said, his name is okay. I'll talk about it later. Uh. Okay. Oh damn. Heaven shaking thunder. <laughs> My god. Oh, that's very dense. Okay. Um let me know. I feel like the pace was a lot better this episode. Let me know if I'm right or wrong, or maybe they skipped stuff and I did not realize. Um, so, like, yeah, like, the, the, the pace felt a lot better this episode. Like, they were not, like, you know, like, skipping, like, you know, just jumping stuff. I felt like these, uh, the previous two episodes, they were just, like, you know, just jumping from one thing to another, just keeping things in com incomplete. While this episode felt a lot more complete because whatever they started, they kind of ended it. I don't know if in the middle of it, they skipped stuff or not. Maybe they did, but they did not abruptly, you know, cut off like a situation. They at least completed this thing they started, you know, like the different scenes. Like the previous episode where they were just starting a scene and they're just cutting in the middle of it. And just like, you know, it was just awkward. So, at least that thing is not here in this episode. And, uh, yeah. And we had a lot of conversations this episode. You know, the whole thing with how and all. So, yeah. <coughs> Alright, that's the end, I think. Yeah. Okay. Now another thing. I feel like the translations were a little bit wacky this episode. There was a lot of things that like you know the translation, the subtitles, like you know, were completely different than what they were saying. But I was able to understand, you know, because uh <laughs> of my excessive knowledge. <laughs> I've seen anime so much that I can kind of understand Japanese a little bit. So yeah, I were able, like, and there was, I, I saw, like, there was a few portions that the things that they were saying were completely different than the things that it was written. And, uh, yeah, but I was able to understand, you know, like, it was not a problem for me. Um, <clears throat> but, okay, now, this episode here, first thing, <coughs> <coughs> we see, uh, it, it resumes from the whole Hanagumi, like, you know, trying to get away. And they come here and how tries to get them and we as we see Anna kicks him and then Anna's like you guys get out of here because he he's not going to like you know like how would you call it spare you guys he's, he's going to try to take your souls and replenish his own energy and <clears throat> okay um then how consumes one of the shiki i think shiki comments yeah those one of those shiki comments and I, I forgot their names one of them and he's like okay this this will do and 
he transforms into like his oversoul form it's called armored oversoul uh wait a minute what's the name uh armored oversoul spirit of fire kurobina so i'm guessing this is the actual like the, the, the fine i'm not even sure if this is the final form but i mean this is like this is like another like you know ascended version of the spirit of fire that we have been seeing up until now and <clears throat> called armored oversoul and according to anna armored oversoul is good for both offense and defense so okay now <clears throat> how always stay the second is just saying one thing to anna like show your true form or something like that and but before anything like you know yo comes in and yo is like there's nothing like you know to worry about because there's anna is anna like there's nothing to show so and he just comes in and yeah now here you kind of get a little break from this whole thing and it shifts to different other perspectives first of all um what's this say mikisa mikisa finds <clears throat> the dead bodies now here's the thing um in the end, we see he brought Brocken with him. I think that's his name. If I'm wrong, like, you know. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. I, yeah, it is Brocken, as far as I can remember. But <coughs> in the end, we see he brought Brocken with him. So, I don't know. Maybe he also brought the other bodies with him. And the Hanagumi was also within them. Now, one thing I'm thinking about. Um, the Hanagumi, the spirits are still there. You know, the body is still there. If like you know, Mikasa brought it, brought the bodies with them. So maybe in the future, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Jun or uh, Sati can bring them back to life. I don't know. Maybe because uh, they're still kind of here. You know, so I'm, I'm guessing they probably might come back in the future. Otherwise, they would have been done with this whole thing. You know, like Hanagumi would have probably just ascended by now. You know, like either Anna would have just you know like just made them ascend to he heaven or whatever you know like they'll go to the greater spirit and <clears throat> she would have done that but since they're still here I'm guessing they have a bigger purpose in the future maybe you know and their bodies also we saw their bodies also still there Sati is alive um, so is Jan so I'm thinking maybe maybe they'll bring them back in the future who knows we'll see and Okay, now, oh boy, now, <laughs> okay, so we see Sati bringing Jan back, Jan is a little bit troubled, he, she's like, I was weak, so I wasn't able to do it, now, here's the thing, after getting to know, not to know, but like getting a confirmation of what the whole thing Marco was doing and everything, and how she was not a person who could judge others, you know, <clears throat> she she lost the whole, uh, you know, like fighting spirit because she realized like whatever she has been doing up until now was something she was doing as a little girl, as a, as a normal girl. You know, she's no special, you know, person. You know, that's why he, she does not have the right to impose or to like, you know, carry out justice on others. Like up until now, she carried out justice on others because she thought that she was a person who is supposed to do that but now like you know after everything and, and she did say in the end like you know I kind of suspected this and <clears throat> so maybe you know like after getting a confirmation that's probably what happened she lost her whole like you know like what do you call it self-confidence or whatever you call it and as we know like you know like um, the spirits if it kind of lowers you know like the oversoul won't happen and they won't be able to fight so that's probably why she wasn't able to do anything and Sati realizes that most probably so she was like no that's not the thing and okay here we get to know that um and Sati says like yeah we need to like you know bring everyone back you know Johnny you'll also help me and she's like fine I'll like you know I'll, I'll also help everyone and <laughs> one of the Gandharas come in and she's like the uh, we was talking about where Yo was and he's like oh he's just having tea with um <laughs> With how and I'm like okay this is interesting and <laughs> I feel like this is like the second time this whole thing happens where it seems as if how is going to do something you remember that previous like in one of those previous episodes where uh, the fight with the golem where it seems he's going to kill them 
while the next transition like in the next scene we see she he just went away <laughs> and this is same like you know we feel like yo like yo is going to fight with how oh my god what's going to happen you know, like an insane fight is going to start while they're just like ah let's go for a coffee you know not coffee tea like that's another translation thing i feel like they were actually given tea but the trans like you know the subtitles was telling coffee it was actually tea <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> now <laughs> okay that, that's funny <laughs> in the in the cafe my god okay um now uh, anna is obviously pretty pissed about this whole situation now they like you know the, the hanagumi is also with them and that's what i said you know that since the hanagumi is still with us i'm thinking maybe they're going to come back in the future because their bodies are also here their spirits are also here so maybe we'll see but here Hana, uh, uh, anna talks about like you know how <clears throat> you know they like uh yo not yo sorry uh, how is so strong that's why even if they were going to fight him they would have lost so this was probably the best outcome you know like yeah so <clears throat> now we shift to how and um yo now i feel like this is the first time we actually see them sit down and talk you know as actual people you know like not at each other's throats or anything but actually talk like civilized people and <clears throat> and i th also this is i think this is the first time we see how wearing a shirt and a pant like yeah like i was, I was pretty surprised <laughs> i'm like damn i've never seen this before Oh, but anyways, mm. okay. Now here they have like the conversation, and now here's an interesting thing. Like they kind of converse about that whole situation, and he talks about how you know, like how he knew that uh, Peote is going to betray him because you know he he knows about every, people's inner feelings. But you know, like he said that. What did he say? Like I did not feel. I'm a little disappointed by the others. No, not this one. Where is it? I knew what he was thinking, but he put it into action. Okay. Um, but it just wasn't him. Everyone's afraid of me. Okay, here we go. Now this part. I felt especially bad with Peyote's betrayal. It's not that I was surprised. Okay, this part. Now, um, like, yeah, okay, I can understand what he's trying to say here. But I feel like, is it supposed to be the reverse, isn't it? Like, Peyote should be sad here. Because he, the thing that what happened was, like, first he got to know that how is keeping a secret. No, wait a minute. But you know what? Um... No, no, like the whole thing was that Peote, after getting to know that uh, how knows everyone's inner feelings, he realized that how has actually left them for, you know, to die. And he's using them. Yeah, that's what happened. So that's why he became sad. And that's why he didn't even betray him, you can say. He basically took his own life and all the others, you know, the Hanagumi's life as well. He didn't even betray betray him in that sense you know he didn't try to stab him in the back or something like that like not that type of betrayal it is a form of betrayal you could say like you know he actually harmed our own team members uh and himself but that the reason why that happened was because you know of the secrecy that how kept and you know like he he wasn't able to trust them properly completely like he himself says it like I like you know I can see their inner feelings. The only two people I trust here is Opacho and Luckis because Opacho is pure from her heart, while Luckis is strong and he like you know I'm guessing he just thinks what he says. I mean, I'm guessing Luckis is a person like that. So that's why he is most comfortable with them and that's why he has shared his own powers, secrets, everything with them. And while he doesn't trust the others because they have their own goals and everything. But I'm, I'm sure like, you know, like how also felt the amount of respect that they felt for him, you know, like everyone was really uh, thankful for how to, towards how because they how actually saved them from their you know, like, 
problems and everything. I'm sure he felt that as well, but still he wasn't able to trust trust him. Probably because, you know, like of all the betrayals that he went through of the previous lives and all, and he isn't able to trust anyone. And, you know, like only the people who he can, like, you know, see that, oh, this person is completely pure, only those people he can trust. If people, there are people who has, like, you know, a little different feelings about in their heart about him like you know how because he says like they're afraid of me so that thing that afraid thing probably how he was able to realize and that's why he wasn't able to trust them because you know like when someone is afraid of you there is a chance of them actually in the future maybe betraying you there is a chance so maybe he thought that oh like you know like this will happen like my previous lives people were afraid of me and when they went to past that like you know the threshold point they're going to betray me eventually that's why i won't you know completely trust them only these two people uh opacho and luckiest opacho i can see like yeah he, she has no nothing in her heart no like you know uh fear or like you know negative feelings towards me that's why i'm going to trust her and luckiest because he is he shows whatever he feels like and he's strong so I'm going to only trust those two and going to tell my actual power to them, not these people, because they have fear in their heart. Yeah, I think it's probably something like that. That's probably what Hao felt. And that's why he never like, you know, told them the secrets. I'm guessing if Peyote was also someone like um, Luckist, you know, like Luckist or Opacho, you know, in, in his heart, maybe if he never felt any fear towards Hao or if his heart was completely pure, if you can say it like that maybe he would have tell, told his like you know secrets to uh, uh peyote as well yeah i'm guessing that's probably the reason like like yeah at the beginning i was trying to say like oh like he did not trust him so actually the instigator of this whole thing is how isn't it but now i realize what he's trying to say actually so basically he never trusted them from the beginning because they were fearful towards him and fear breeds anxiety which might actually later on like you know like lead to betrayal which he has suffered a lot of times in his previous lives that's why he never trusted them from the beginning and showed them his feelings which in turn kind of like an acted as a chain reaction where Peyote got to know everything he snapped and he like you know betrayed them in in that sense now here's another thing if Peyote was actually strong in, in like you know had a strong heart you know if he was actually like opacho or uh, like luckiest he wouldn't have done this you know he wouldn't have taken his life or like the hanagumi's life if you think of it in that way you know like um <clears throat> like it, it wouldn't even matter by the end of it because he wouldn't actually do the thing that he did that is kill himself and the others if he was as strong mentally like as opacho or luckiest so since he was never like you know he had fear in him and he felt betrayed because of all those things he did what he did he killed himself and the hanagumi took the hanagumi with him and all the others so yeah like this either way this would have gotten like you know he, into a bad direction even if how told him his you know secrets because now that i'm thinking maybe even if how told luck uh, peyote his secret there would have been like you know, he probably would have still felt a little little bit fear and it wouldn't change this whole thing yeah so like probably it was probably that's why he never told anything to them and i can kind of understand now what he's trying to say yeah makes sense <clears throat> and that's why he can be so open with uh, you know, yo as well because yo also doesn't have any fear he's just sitting here you know like and as he said like you know you i can feel your like you know inner feelings and you know like <clears throat> you are so cool here aren't you afraid of me <laughs> like you know like all that thing and yeah okay now where is that part where he kind of gets Oh, yeah, when he says, like, you know, like, uh, now, here's the thing. He kind of says it in a really bad way. He says, like, oh, they wouldn't have gotten any more stronger, so I killed them. Now, like, obviously, that kind of made Yo snap, and he kind of got a little hot-headed, and I was like, oh, calm down. 
<laughs> little brother of mine. I'm not here to fight today, you know that. And <laughs> Amida Maru was also kind of rattled. And he's like, all right, I'm going to treat you guys today. He just goes to that. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. He goes to the, what's his name? Wait a minute, where is, what's his name? The guy, the patch officiant. Um, yeah, he says like, it'll be 651 yen. How says, I haven't seen you. What's your name? I'm Talim, Talim that's his name. Now, <laughs> wait, like, he's like, I'm going to pay you. And then he says like, how much is it? And he's like, 651 yen. And he's like, 651 yen, you said. And Talim is confused. He's like, what's happening? And he's like, oh, to celebrate our grand opening, the first five customers to order us, order us are free. Now, so basically what he did was get a free meal. He said, how <laughs> said he would treat you. But basically what he did was he just, <laughs> just intimidated the cashier or the register, like whatever you call him, into giving the, him the meal for free and just went away. Like, what? I'm, as, I, as I was saying, he probably did not have any money with him, and yeah, <laughs> that's how we uh, did it. Oh my god, that was kind of... <laughs> now, another thing. Um, another reason why he was kind of glaring at Talim was because, later on as we see, that's Yoken, isn't it? I think so. You know, who kind of comes out of... Now, so wait, what actually happened here? Like, is he like possessing him or something? Talim? Like, that's Yoken, isn't it? And he says like, yeah, he senses my presence. And that's also the reason why Hao was kind of glaring at him, at Talim. So wait, what's happening? So does Talim know that this person is possessing him? Or I'm guessing he doesn't know. And like, okay, this one kind of confused me a little bit. Let me know. And Yo pays the bill. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, then we shift to Gandhara, where, like, you know, we get to see, like, they're getting prepared for everything. And they're saying, like, oh, like, Ledger is still not back. We'll have to wait. And we have to guide him and everyone. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the next part, we see Yo just sitting under the moon and, you know, Ren coming in, them talking. And he's saying, like, how, where is it? There you go. He has such a sad power about his brother. Um, I think I might be able to defeat him through his heart. Now, ugh, yeah, okay, so he, this thing. Obviously, Ren is not happy with this. Like, yo, we've always seen Yo trying to defeat people not defeat in in that sense but you know like yeah defeat you can say that defeat people by actually changing them and this is obviously this is his brother we are talking about and he knows what he's probably going through and he realizes like how he has suffered up until this time and how he's just afraid of trusting others and you know that's why he has such a limited amount of friends and he is he doesn't trust others and that's why he's like, oh, this is a sad power. I might be able to actually go through to him. Maybe that's how I can stop him. But as we know, Ren is not that, you know, like, um, that uh, understanding. He, he's like a practical type of a person. He's like, no, you're too naive. That won't happen. You know, like, you know, we, we are going to have a fight tomorrow and we'll see. Like, you know, if you defeat me, then it's all fine and good. You can do whatever the hell you want to. You can change how or whatever but if like I, and he didn't say all of this but i'm guessing that's what kind of like you know it was the situation but if i defeat you then i'm going to deal with how high how i want to and basically that's i'm guessing that was like the whole situation and the next day the tournament starts and everyone's sitting there like the, the team members are ready the, the the announcers or whatever that guy he's like oh why are we even having this match we know what's going to happen you know like and like yeah, everyone's like yeah. How is going to win? So why are they even trying? 
but okay now the fight begins oh wait oh no not before the okay before the fight begins um how takes the microphone and like you know that kind of says like yeah today here we're going to like you know defeat you and like you know we're going to go all out this and that and um like we can see like here's another thing we got to know about Horohoro, Horo, you know, in the past episode where we got to know that his name is something that he was actually like means different. And like, what, what did it say? Like, like, like uh, anger, calm, anger, something like that. I don't remember the actual translation. I forgot it. But it's something like he was suppressing within him. Like, he's not like, you know, like he, like, you know, he, his name, uh, Horo, Horo Q. I forgot the name anyways um you know like it actually made like a very hot type of a thing something that's why like you know since he doesn't act like that his full power is unable to be unleashed so now that he is i'm guessing accepted his whole thing we can see there's like a drastic change in horror's personality he's he's like just like you know full of anger and like you know, it feels like he's kind of um what do you call it like he's outbursting at everything and like we can see that and that really shows that he he changed and according to like you know th that to gain more power you know, he acts like how his name means and he i'm guessing he was able to unlock his full power because of that and that's why he is so like you know like loud and just like you know he says he just directly says it like not only that but obviously he also hates um not only him but everyone like you know hates how because all the, because of all the things that happened that like you know added to that whole thing you know he, he's pretty pissed at you he's like how dare you go and drink coffee with him and um, yeah now the fight starts oh no not <laughs> the fight doesn't start uh yo gets the mic and he <laughs> he says like i just want to make a little like you know world where everyone lives comfortably but fighting like you know like you know it's something that's like you know breeds hatred so like you know i wouldn't want to go in that direction like i'm just doing this because how doesn't have any friend my god everyone's just shocked <laughs> they're like what the hell is this person saying you know like <laughs> how is also listening to that <laughs> opach was like how you didn't don't have any friends <laughs> oh my god and I was like, ah, he was just saying this, like, you know, all the time in that cafe when we were having uh, the tea. <laughs> okay, and obviously, like, the other team is pissed at this. They're like, what are you saying? Like, you know, uh, like, Ren says, like, yeah, you're naive. You know, like, you're trying to help the enemy. You, this is, this naivety will be the end of you. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, Horo Horo as well, extremely pissed. And, um... I feel like um, Chocolove is a lot more calmer because the whole thing about Chocolove is that you know like we remember that the, the, the things that he has been taught like you know like don't uh, like you know like what do you call it? like don't go towards violence like defeat people with laughter if you remember and he's a more like a more what can I say a calmer type of a person in, in, in the Ren team, you know, like Horo Horo was also kind of calm, but after that whole ep episode, he became like this. Um, Ren, as always, we, we already know Ren is just like kind of hot headed from the beginning, but I feel like Chocolove is the only exception here. And uh, he would have, like, you know, joined the fight, but he doesn't have uh, Abba, uh, you know, Pascal Abba with him, so he's kind of like, you know, just standing there a little bit and uh he's a lot more calm and collected because of that i think that you know like because his whole thing is keep calm you know, don't give in to anger like double loves thing um faust and rue they like you know the, the first of all the whole thing with faust happens Faust's hands are just gone using like in you know, horror's eyes not Faust, sorry rue uh Faust tries to help him uh but you know like he also gets kind of defeated by uh ren and <clears throat> they're like okay like you know let's just beat them up extremely bad later on you know we can just bring them back so no problem let's just go all out and they start fighting now the the whole battle begins yo uses his uh 
purifying power that he learned in hell nam what, what's the name na avidya which now let me know is this the same power that uh, one of the gandharas used or is it something different i, I don't remember if it was it's the same thing or not but yeah okay um so he uses that to nullify you know like ren's the thing the weapon and everything but ren uses a new uh you know like oversoul like you know the what, what is it called bush bushin yuchi and that uses lightning like you know, it's like a force of nature obviously nothing like you know uh, his yours new technique cannot do anything to that and obviously Horohoro also has the power of ice so that's how they are kind of defeating him you know like hurting him now anna is worried but jun is like don't worry these like you know kids have gone through a lot so i'm sure everything will be fine and the family members like you know the head of the head the heads of the families the ren family uh, not ren family sorry tao family and asagura family they all of their heads are sitting and they're like all right like they're fighting the, the tournament will be over but we also need to think of something from our like you know side so mikisa's like oh i brought someone it's like brings out broken like Bronca, Broken is pretty traumatized, I could see. I think he will probably speak if some if asked something. Uh, like they're going to uh, extract information from him. So most probably that's what's going to happen. He he's going to say because you know like he knows now that he, uh, how like you know kind of never told them the full picture. So maybe he's going to speak because of that. Maybe his loyalty is going to wane a little bit. We'll see. Um. But yeah, okay, and then we again go back to the fight. Uh, Yo is getting an electric shock, heaven shaking thunder, that's what it's called. And <laughs> Yo is like, <laughs> not bad, Ren. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and I'm guessing the fight will be re resumed the next episode. Uh, I'm guessing the next episode has already been released, but as I said, like, you know, it will be kind of one week delayed because of the whole thing. So yeah. We'll, I'll be back with the next episode next week. So yeah, that was it. As I said, I feel like this episode was a lot calmer, you know, a lot. Uh, it felt a lot more, um, you know, like it, it, it felt it, it, they probably did not skip anything here. Or maybe they skipped it, but a very less amount. Let me know if I'm correct or wrong. Uh, but yeah, this felt a lot more um, easy, like, you know, to watch and like, it was not like there was no weird cuts and everything. It felt like they're kind of taking it slow now again, so, or maybe it's just me anyways. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Shaman King episode number, um, 44. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below, anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah um that was it and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with the next episode which is episode number 45 yeah next week episode number 45 of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day